Hello everyone and welcome to week three of home learning at Rabina State High School. We got really exciting news yesterday that year 11s and 12s will be able to come back to school next week. I am so excited. Looks like Billy's excited as well. For this week everyone, the same messages that we've been giving you all uh, for the last couple of weeks. Make sure you connect with your role class teacher each morning. Make sure that any um, tasks that you have been set are submitted to your teachers. We really, really are thinking of you. We're looking forward to seeing our 11s and 12s next week and we're looking forward to seeing everyone as soon as possible. Uh, for today's focus, we've got some clips of some of our school leaders sharing some of their um, advice around how le home learning has worked for them and how they have made it work. Thank you. It's Chloe here. I really hope you're all staying safe and healthy during this time that we're in now. So today I've been asked to share a little bit about my experience with learning from home and to share with you all some tips that I found useful in maintaining organised and productive throughout the day. So while learning from home has been a very different and new experience from what we're used to, I found it fairly positive so far as I've been able to develop a better self-reliance and take responsibility for my own learning which I know are very important skills to have. However, I'm sure you can all relate that it has been difficult at times to remain motivated and um, to stay organized. So I guess the biggest tips that I would give would be to take a break every hour or so to do something you enjoy like play with a pet or get some fresh air outside so you can stay concentrated when you need to. And when it comes to staying organized, I found it really useful to write a to-do list every day and to organize my emails into subject folders so that it's easy to find the emails that I need and it just prevents my inbox from becoming too cluttered. So I really hope that you've found some of these tips useful and I hope to see you all at school soon. See ya. Hello, my name is Talia and I'm going to be talking a little bit about how working during this time has been for me. So my workspace has actually been at school. So I've been going to school for two weeks and I'll keep going to school because my parents are essential workers. So every day I get to school, set myself up and then I follow my timetable and I do my work as I normally would. Um, something I've really learned about myself is that it's so important that you really commit yourself and you put so much time and effort into your schoolwork, especially now that we're doing a lot of learning online, so it's harder to grasp concepts and everything like that. So yeah, it's been super important for me that I just really get all my work done, I make sure I understand the content and I'm being as proactive as possible in learning and getting everything done. Um, and just a message to everyone out there, I hope you're all staying safe, healthy, happy and very positive and I know we'll get through this and hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Hey, I'm Jason. Here's a small video of my workspace from home. So, over the past couple of weeks I've been standing inside my room here with my desk. And one thing I've personally found myself being is a lot more independent over these past couple of weeks. And something I would definitely recommend is finding a place where you can study with not a lot of distractions and tons of light sources. So at the moment, I've got my overhead light up there, but I also have a small desk lamp here. And that's what I've been using to study. So it's, you know, tons of light sources and not having a dark, gloomy place to study. So yeah, that's my tip. Hey everyone, I hope you guys had a good start to term two and is getting well adjusted with the schoolwork and just everyday living. I would have to say my number one tip from doing schoolwork at home is staying organised. Definitely having an organised space like working at a desk or your dining room table. For me personally, I would love to write sticky notes. I have all of when my homework is due and my assessments are due and I can just see it every day. I think that's a really good way to keep up with your assessments. Uh, I think something I've definitely learned about myself is that I'm a very good procrastinator, which definitely isn't a good thing, but that's just something that I learned about myself. And I hope you guys will stay safe. Hey guys, this is my work and study area just behind me here. I have learned to time manage my schoolwork and to work effectively. Um, I just wanted to say a quick message, keep driving towards your goals and keep working hard. Hi everyone, welcome to my learning at home little station. So this is where I do all my schoolwork. You can see my laptop, it's here. So I'm gonna show you how I set up everything to manage my schoolwork, as well as some things that I've learned about myself while schooling from home and we'll end off with a little positive message at the end. Okay, so this is what my learning space looks like. Sorry if my devices keep going out of focus, but um, today I have business, English, HP and humanities 
and I'm not actually needing any of my like, hard copy books for any of these subjects. So they would normally be here, but I don't have any of those today. So that's why we're looking a little empty, even though I still brought down my pencil case for no reason. I'm actually in my little kitchen area. I just like that it's a bit more spacious than a desk and I have like a nice cool breeze coming in. So it will start on my laptop. So because I'm starting with business today, I have my business OneNote open here and we're doing a little test at the moment over the course of my three lessons and I'm gonna finish that one up today. So that's super exciting. Yeah, so that's what I would normally have over on my laptop. Um, we have some water, headphones because I love listening to music while I'm working, um, some stationery that I don't need because again I don't have any books for today, and then over here on my iPad I have my emails open so that I can reply to anything I need to and I can see when a new email comes in straight away. So I just emailed my promote teacher letting her know that I am learning from home today. Shout out to Miss Nelson, you send the funniest emails and they always make my morning. So yeah, that's what I'll have over on my iPad. And this is what my learning station looks like. So, some things that I have learnt while learning from home. I learned that I'm not a morning person. <laughs> but on a real note, I learnt that personally, I don't learn very well just from reading text. Learning from the OneNotes when there's no attached videos, I can find that very difficult to work with. It's very hard not having a teacher. They do a lot for us, they're great at their job. And yeah, it's um, been quite difficult adapting to teaching myself. Another thing that has helped me is having a group chat with my friends to help me bounce ideas off of them, um, ask any questions, we can all help each other out and having a group chat is a great way to do that. So I'll show you my little group chat. This is our group chat. It's um, me and two of the other junior leaders, Josh and Jai. Up above, you know, Jai and I were talking about our music assessment. Yeah, so I found having a group chat like this very helpful for when I just cannot like figure anything out, having a mind blank, these people got my back. So yeah, that's that. So I would say the positive takeaway from this for me specifically was that we might be secluded in our houses all day, sitting in our rooms or sitting in your living room like I am, but we're never truly alone. and. Thanks to the technology we have, um, you can always find a way to talk to the people you care about. So don't let being stuck at home stop you. Keep in touch with your loved ones and stay healthy and happy. Bye guys. Here's my learning at home video. So here's my desk where I get all of my work done. I've got my timetable to help me stay on track and to know when my teachers are online. So something that I've learned about myself while doing home learning is that I don't procrastinate as much as I thought I would and I also don't struggle not having teachers to help me as much as I thought I would as well as also not eating all the food in the house which I'm sure would surprise um, lots of my friends and teachers. So I just hope that you're all happy and healthy and well and getting all your work done and if you have any questions there's lots of people who would be happy to answer them. I'm, if you emailed me or them I'm sure that everyone would reply and also I hope to see you all soon. Good morning guys, I hope everyone is well and safe and learning from home with no troubles. Um, but today I will be answering a question and showing you my workspace um, while learning at home. So uh, we'll dive right into that. <laughs> um, here we have my uh, computer it's set up there's my emails and my one notes all the one notes are down the side um if you need if i need to open a new one that i haven't opened i just go into my um one note online and open it up by going into the shed with me and finding the one notes name here i have my book my other books my pencil cases and then a water bottle um, I like to have a water bottle so I don't die from dehydration. 
but yeah and then outside on my deck is where I do my dance because inside isn't enough room and it's nicer outside so I uh, just out there on the deck past the table um yeah that's where I dance it's better than nothing <laughs> um we just gotta work with what we have but um the question I'm here to answer today is something I've learned about myself while working at home. Um, one thing I've learned about myself is that I work better at home because I can work at my own pace and I have less distractions than at school because I don't have people like asking me questions. Not that that's a bad thing, <laughs> but I get to focus on my work and put myself first and my learning first. I've also learned that um, when I get up earlier, I tend to be more focused, more motivated, and um, I just feel more productive. But I hope everyone is safe and staying happy <laughs> and working through everything no matter what. Um, there's always a solution to a problem if you need a teach, like, if you need to ask any questions, I'm always open. I'm an email away or a message on Instagram or whatever. <laughs> um, or there's always your teachers as well because they probably know more than I do. <laughs> um, but if you need anything, don't be afraid to reach out to people who can help you. Hi everyone. I hope you're feeling safe yeah. and happy during this time and you're enjoying online learning as much as I am. Um, I've been asked to show you my online learning area and this is where I get all my work done in this lovely desk. It's pretty quiet now, um, but during the day when four people are trying to get schoolwork done, it's pretty hectic. And the best part is I get to stare at Eden the whole day. Say hi, Eden. Hi. Um, one thing I've learned about myself doing online schoolwork is I thought it would be really difficult to learn without a teacher and class discussions, but I found that I'm actually doing all right and I'm doing better than I thought. Um, I just want to say that you can do it. I know it's hard for everyone but everyone's new and um, if you need any help there's plenty of people you can contact. We will be happy if you email us. Um, we'd be happy to help you in any way you can. So good luck and keep going.